Hello people. This video I am making is of my trip to Singapore. I am leaving for Singapore. Actually, I have this problem of jet lag. When I came from India to Los Angeles, I was in jet lag for I think so a month. In Singapore, we have a lot of presentations and sessions and lectures. And of course, we have to travel. We have to roam around Singapore. So I thought that let me get accustomed to the time zone. So the time zone difference is right now when I'm making this video in Los Angeles, the time is 4.30 a.m. And since past three days, my exams got finished. And after that, I started to keep myself awake at night and I sleep in the mornings because according to the Singapore time. I have my flight at 12.25 p.m. tomorrow or I would say today itself. I would share uh, my experience. I booked uh, my flight with Philippines Airlines. Uh, so my flight is from Los Angeles to Singapore via Manila. So I have layover at Manila and I booked this flight around one and a half months before actually or one month before yesterday morning i got an email from philippine airlines that my flight got cancelled it was a panic situation total panic situation and somehow i managed to book my flight but i have a huge layover it's 16 hours layover at manila initially it was two hours but now it is 16 hours layover at manila so let's see how it goes but um, Let's see how Philippine airline service is because this thing I did not like at all because they canceled the flight a day before. So all my plans, like we have to do COVID test 24 hours or 48 hours prior to your travel. So I don't like everything just got messed up. But somehow right now I am actually packing my stuff. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm like in the middle of packing. Now I'll get ready i'll have bath i'll freshen up i'll get ready and by 7 a.m uh, we all will leave even my friends are traveling with me not in the same flight but yeah we have like um, their flight is at 11 a.m so we are going together to the airport so yes i'll be recording the entire video and hope you will like it and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have the requirement of any information just contact me on my instagram id which is available in the description box below so this is this is the morning of los angeles it's 5 30 a.m here and this is so beautiful <laughs> Good morning. It's 7 a.m. in Los Angeles. I'm having my breakfast. I'll be leaving in about 15-20 minutes to Los Angeles airport. Philippines Airlines check-in gate is here. Hey you! So I am at Los Angeles airport right now and uh, as I mentioned earlier that I booked my flight from Los Angeles to Singapore through Philippine Airlines and my flight got cancelled. Uh, so they rescheduled my flight and now my layover increased 
from 2 hours to 16 hours in Manila, Philippines. And then I'll be going to Singapore. Now for the compensation, I asked them uh, whether they should upgrade my seat from economy to business class or they should provide me the lounge access at Manila Airport. So they agreed that uh, they'll um, provide me with the lounge access at Manila Airport. So I'm sorted for the 16 hours layover in Manila. I'll be sleeping peacefully and definitely I'll be recording the, the, the facilities in the lounge. Also while traveling to Singapore in these times currently, Singapore asks for proof of vaccination, number one. Uh, you have to have the booster dose as well. Number two is e-visa. So e-visa was applied by my friend's uncle. To, to apply for e-visa, either you have to apply it through embassy, which takes around $70 of fees, or uh, your relatives who have the Singapore work permit, uh, who are citizens of Singapore, only they can apply for e-visa for you. So my friend's uh, uncle, uh, he is citizen of Singapore, so he applied for me. First, first of all, I'll say thank you, Navya. Like, if you wouldn't have been there today, I will not be traveling to Singapore. E-visa was applied through my friend's uncle. And the third document that is required is SG arrival card. So that is a document uh, which is issued three days prior to your um, departure from your location so my uh, arrival card was applied uh, okay for the arrival card um, we need exact details of the flight number and my flight actually got cancelled like yesterday so my arrival card got uh, uh, it reached me today because it's a, it's a soft copy and that was also applied by uh, my friend's uncle these are the three important documents that are required that are proof of vaccination with booster dose um, SG arrival card and Singapore e-visa little bit little bit like yeah they uh, at the check-in as well they told me that I need to install an application in my phone uh, just as like in India we use Aroge Setu so in Singapore it's some different app that we have to download and I think so the government traces whatever like whatever is required so that is the requirement just to make sure that everyone is safe uh, in Singapore and the people traveling are not infected through COVID. These are the uh, precautions that they are taking and that is that is actually nice. And that is why I think uh, Singapore is uh, like safest, I feel. Yeah, this, this is what is required right now. And I'll record the services in Philippine Airlines and the lounge of Philippine, um, like Manila. Let's see how my journey goes it's a long journey because this flight from los angeles to manila is 16 hours then i have 16 hours of layover in manila and then i have four hours of flight from manila to singapore so it's like almost 40 hours journey for me okay then okay so right now i'm sitting in front of uh, my gate that is 205 so after check-in after all the questions they asked me they gave me the boarding pass from Los Angeles to Manila and from Manila to Singapore then came the security check security check was quite normal uh, we just need to keep our laptops outside our bags and that's it we, we have to remove our shoes and uh, yeah they scan us so that was pretty chill and then from there I came right now waiting for my flight to arrive okay so my flight is delayed by two hours <laughs> it was supposed to uh, leave at 12 25 p.m and now it is scheduled to leave at 2 30 p.m one, one more hour to go right now it's 1 30 p.m let's see let's see a lot of hustle in life <laughs> <laughs> 